Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Really never saw people that was like starstruck. Yeah. You know, because he had that ability, both of them, him and Bun, they had that ability to uh, be the rap stars that they are, but kind of be on that, that level, that, that down to earth level, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. To the point to where you, you, you feel like you can approach them that way. You know what I'm saying? Super dope dude, um, dudes, man. Uh, like I said, I met Bun. I didn't get to meet him, but I met Bun, me and my wife and my mm-hmm. kids. All four of my kids was with me in Vegas. Yeah. And yeah. he stopped. I was like, my daughter wanted to take a picture with him. And she was like, Dad, I want to take a picture with him. And she was excited. And he was like, oh, hold on, hold on. And he just pretty much took a picture with her, with all the kids, all four of my kids. I got pictures with all four of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> at, yeah. One at a time, I think. It was one at a time. But anyway, he was like, uh, you know, I was like, man, I appreciate the love and respect. And uh, uh, and I say, you dope. He said, no, you dope, man. You're the only one here that got your whole family with you. Right. You know, he he seen that in oh, the yeah, midst yeah. of what I was doing. Yeah. I was trying to show them business, really. Yeah. That I wanted them to see mm-hmm. the business side of what we do, you know. Yeah. And uh, you remember that day, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was just a dope, dope time, you know. Yeah. Um, but definitely, man, I always been, always looked up to those guys for what they brought to Texas, for for the South. Yeah. Uh, them guys are patriarchs, you know. I The way I found you is I, I heard this right here. Like Swishes and Doge, and that was like, that was Pimp, and Pimp has a, had a protege. His name is Steve Belo in Dallas. He don't really make music no more. Yeah, because it's, it, it's like it's not fun as it used to be when Pimp was Pimp gone. So a lot of pe- lot of us that was really really heavy with. If you notice, there's like four five years where I ain't making no music. Yeah, because it just wasn't fun without him no more. But that was Steve and, and Chad were creating this new Southern sound, like the rap version of Southern rock. My God. So to speak, you know what I'm saying? I'm very, very guitar driven, but still four beat. So it still had that rap feel. And Switches and Doja was this whole new direction that we was going in. Now, there's a lot of traditional music on that album, mm-hmm. but Switches and Doja by far, it that was that was where we were headed, a whole new way. And the boy was always ahead of the game. Yeah, People still can't make a, a song like that to this day. That's how I found you right there. <laughs> is he, so is he right? Did you just did you stop because it wasn't fun no more? I mean, it, 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 uh, you just decided I wasn't gonna deal with it no more after after Pimp C left. Man, it was it was a combination of a lot of things because, um, I had uh you know after after Pimp died, um, you know I was still still heavy in the music and still wanted to do it, but. It really wasn't fun anymore. And I didn't realize that it wasn't fun anymore until a little while after, you know, he was gone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, Bun and I did manage to uh, to uh, uh, put together uh, the Trilogy album along yeah. with, you know, some, some other great producers and, yeah. you know, artists and things like that, you know, after Pimp was gone. Um, but after we did that and... Uh, I wasn't working on anything much after that. And then it just, you know, I was, I was getting, I was getting a little older, Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And my taste in music was changing. So I really wasn't hearing anything that inspired me because I I feel like, you know, if you're going to work on a particular type of music, you have to be a fan of it as well. So you, when you hear things, you know, Oh, okay. You know, I'm, I'm loving that. And I, I just wasn't hearing anything that I was loving anymore. And my taste in music was changing. Uh, my priorities and my life was changing. So it, it it just, you know, and then on top of that, you know, not not working with Pimp. Yeah. Uh, and it just kind of, it is it wasn't like I just sat up one day and just said, you know what, I'm, I'm just not going to do this anymore. Yeah. It One day not working on music turned into two. Yeah. Two days turned into three. Yeah. You know? And you didn't miss it. So that's the and that, main that's, thing. Yeah, that's what it was. And I, I really wasn't missing it. And I, you know, when you when you working on the music, you know, don't get me wrong. I love working on music, but it's a, it's a very taxing uh, activity. Um, Many long hours. A lot of long hours. Mm. A lot of long hours and a, and a lot of... Uh, 
a lot of it's a, it's a after a while it becomes a mental strain. Wow. Because and do you have family like wife kids? No. Okay. No. Because I was trying to see you know because you need time for that. Right. So I was trying to see how much time you right. had. Now, one thing I, I was trying to do was put myself in a position so I could, you know, maybe give myself a family. Okay. You know, so to be real, I mean, that music thing, it don't always pay the bills. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.